Hey champions, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 10 secret pricing tricks that sellers and retailers use to get you to spend more money. These tricks basically drain your wallet and many people fall for these tricks without even recognizing these tricks. The interesting thing is that they stare us in the eye all the time, but we can't even see it. Even though they are so common, they are so obvious, People miss these tricks a lot. And in today's video, the goal of this video is actually to get you to become a smart shopper. So the next time you walk into the store or the next time you go to purchase an item, product or service, you do recognize these traps and know how to avoid these traps. Before we dive in, if this is your first time stopping by this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing now to avoid missing out on the helpful videos on this channel. And drop a like on this video to help other people find these videos quicker. So what is the first trick? The first trick is called rounding up and let me explain. So rounding up is an illusion or a manipulative trick that they use to get you to spend more money and what happens is they basically make the price of items or products and services appear cheaper than they actually are. So let's say you walk into a store and you load up your cart with an item that says $11.99 on the sticker price, right? Guess what happens? The human mind reads from left to write. So when you see $11.99, your budget is $11. You're thinking, oh, I got the money for this. You load that up in your cart. But guess what happens? When you get to the counter to pay for the product, you then realize that the actual price of the product is $11.99. So the one cent difference that was removed from the number is where the trick comes in. So the rounding up is something that most people fall for. And if you've ever fallen for this, you are not alone. So the next time you walk into the store, be sure to look at the last two digits on the price tag, say $11.99, but sure to pay attention to the last two digits to the right of the price tag. So number two, number two is another visual trick that sellers and retailers use to get you to spend more money. And this trick is done by removing the comma from the price tag. So let's say you go into the store and the product is listed for $1,200. So the one and the two has a comma in between both of them. But what happens is they get rid of the comma and the illusion here is that you begin to think that the $1,200 without the comma is a lower price versus when they put in the comma there because the comma tells you that you are into the next counting phase. So you're going from the hundreds to the thousands, but they try to get rid of this just to make it appear as if the price is lower. And studies have actually shown that when they remove a comma from the price tag, it creates an illusion of a lower price. So number three, number three is one that gets people all the time. And this is called in short, the BOGO deals. What do I mean by the BOGO deals? B-O-G-O. -O. So the BOGO deal stands for buy one, get one, free. How many times have you walked into a store and you think you are getting a deal and it says on the price tag, buy one, get one free. This happens all the time online, in a store. It's always a trick that most people fall for. But here's the deal with this trick, right? This trick is one that plays on your mind because it gets you thinking that you have a deal when you actually most times don't have any deal. Because what happens is they've already factored in the price for two of the items in into one. So when you go in to buy one item, you are actually paying for two items, but they make it appear as if you are getting a deal when you buy one. So this is another pricing trick that most sellers and retailers use to get people to spend more than they expect to spend. So number four, number four is a pricing trick that is used by high-end places. And high-end retailers or sellers use this all the time. The goal here is to keep it simple, stupid, right? So they basically drop the fractions from the price tag. So they leave you with the whole numbers. And this always happens for ticket, for high ticket items, items that are priced a lot higher. So what do they do here? The seller wants to simplify the buying process for you and the buying experience because the human mind does not need major complications when trying to make decisions. We need quick 
clues to make decisions. So the seller gives you $1,300 instead of giving you $1,350. So they use this all the time to get people to overpay for products because they give you a simple whole number out there that you don't have to think too much about it and you swipe your card. So number five, number five is dropping the dollar sign. And what happens with this strategy is this strategy basically disconnects your mind from money because guess what? The dollar sign, the pound sign, the yen sign, whatever currency out there associates your mind with money. So when you see a dollar sign, you think about money. But guess what the retailers do? When the retailers drop the price, the dollar sign, they want to disconnect any association or ties you have with money when you are spending. This is usually seen in high-end restaurants. So when you walk into some restaurants, these restaurants, they give you a menu, but the menu just has the price without the dollar sign. Say you see a steak for $45. So they disconnect the price of the steak by removing the dollar sign. At that point, all you want to do is just eat because you want to have a good time. Maybe you are on a date and you just want to spend some time with your date and just not worry about money at that point. So what they do is they drop the dollar sign and they make you focus on the actual list on the menu. So at that point, all you see is 45, but you are not thinking about $45. Number six, number six is another visual trick. And this trick is one that's used so commonly. This is the 10 for 10 trick or the five for five trick. So they basically lump in a bunch of items together, which is similar to the buy one, get one free. What this does to you is you walk into the store to buy one product or one item, but then you, as you walk by, you see buy 10 for $10 or buy five for five dollars and this is basically a product that you typically may spend a dollar for but your mind doesn't think about that so what your mind wants to do is oh i have a lot for ten dollars this must be a discount so this trick is to get you to spend more than you actually intended to spend in the first place and this is why people walk into the store to buy one product and they walk out of the store with a cart full of products this is done all the time by your major retailers and your grocery stores out there. Number seven. So number seven is another trick that sellers use to get you to think about scarcity. They want to create scarcity in your mind. And what is this trick? This trick is the per customer limit. So sellers and retailers impose a limit that's not actually true. This is a pseudo limit, a false limit that gets you thinking that this product or this commodity or this service must be really, really scarce or in high demand. Therefore, I'm going to try my best to get everything I can right now. So guess what happens? Maybe you weren't planning on buying a soap. And as you walk through the store, you see a sign that says one per customer or two per customer. Guess what? You grab as much as you can for the limit that's stated on the price tag. But the truth is, you never even plan to buy that in the first place. Number eight. Number eight is the phased discount trick. For instance, a seller might list a product or service with a three-day phase discount. So what happens here is the first 24 hours, you get a 100% discount. Now, the next 48 hours, you get a 50% discount. And then the next 72 hours, you get a 25% discount. So what they are doing here is they are stepping down the discount based on the set amount of time. So they set a duration that basically plays with your mind and gets you thinking that if you don't get it now within that discounted phase or that discounted period, you are going to lose out. So what you end up doing is buying something that you never plan to buy in the first place at the time that you basically don't even need it. So this is another trick that you have to watch out for. Number nine. So number nine is another trick that we see all the time. We see this online and during this period we see this a lot because what happens is they're trying to create incentives for you to buy products and number nine is free promotions. So with free promotions, the aim of the seller or the goal of the seller is to basically incentivize you to buy something that you never plan to buy in the first place or basically give you an incentive to buy something that's way over your budget. For instance, you go shopping online and you see a product that has a free delivery. So guess what? At that point in time, you weren't planning on buying that product. 
but maybe because you saw the word free delivery. The word free delivery triggers you or persuades you into buying that product at that time. Meanwhile, this product was never in your budget and you had no plans to even include it in your budget in the first place. Last but not the least, number 10. So number 10 is another scarcity trick that retailers and sellers used to get you to overspend on the product or service. And this is when they offer you a limited time offer or when they offer you a limited availability in stock. Say you go to buy something and you see the uh, ticker that says only two left in stock. Whenever you see only two left in stock, your mind basically runs into the scarcity zone. And what you're trying to do at that point is grab that. Now remember, this is not an imposed per limit on customer. So this is different from the per limit for customer. This is basically stuff that's in stock. So they are, they are not saying that you are limited to only two or only five. This is just another psychological trap that gets most people to overspend. So when you are shopping online and you see only two left in stock or only three left in stock, it doesn't necessarily mean that the seller or the retailer has only two in stock. Most times when you buy those two products that are left in stock, in quotes, in stock, what happens is the item refreshes itself and adds two more in stock. So the seller wants to use this trick to get you to overspend because they get you thinking that if you don't get it now, you might miss out on the opportunity to get it. The other one that we see for services is the limited time offer. So they give you an offer and they say you only have about X amount of days to claim your offer. What happens is your mind starts thinking, if I don't get this offer now, I'm going to lose out. So from the fear of missing out on that offer, you tend to overspend and the sellers and retailers know this already. So they do all these little things to get people to overspend. Okay, so now that you know the 10 pricing tricks, the goal here is for you to be a smart shopper. If you feel like you've gained some insight from watching this video, be sure to help others find this video quicker by liking this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, you already know what to do. Take care of that right there by smashing the subscribe button and turning on the notifications so you avoid missing out on videos like this. See you in the next video. Keep winning and stay safe.